Let's build a 3D interactive website with Wix Studio. Let's get started. First, I'll head over to spline.design, a 3D tool that allows us to export the 3D to the web. I'll head over to the community tab. Spline has a great 3D community producing projects that you can copy and remix for free. For this project, I'll search planet. I really like the look of this gas giant project, so we'll remix that. That'll load up the project in the Spline editor. First thing I'm gonna do is go up to the top and click on export, and we're gonna need a PNG, so I'm going to go to image, and I'm gonna set the format to PNG, the ratio to four, just to make it a little larger, and I'm gonna hide the background color. Of course, we're not gonna utilize this PNG on the website. We're only using this to design with, so we'll be back in Spline in a bit. Then heading over to Figma, my design tool of choice, I'll quickly throw together a website using that 3D image. So here's the design for the website we'll build in Wix Studio and build our interaction with. Speaking of that, let's head over to Wix Studio. We're gonna need a new project, so I'll hit create new site and start from blank canvas. We have a pretty simple layout, so I'm gonna select the footer and just delete the whole thing. Then I'm gonna go into the navigation and select the logo and unstack it and delete the corresponding image. Next, let's just delete this navigation since we don't need it. And I'll edit my text and replace it with our logo, Exploring Space. Then we can bump up the size on it a little bit. Next, we need to add those two paragraphs. So I'll go to the top left and hit Add Element and then drag in a paragraph. Then I'll just paste in our text. Then I'll select that paragraph, hold Shift, and select our logo, and then select Stack. We're going to use a horizontal stack. I'll set the item spacing to 32 pixels, and I'm going to align everything to the top. Then we'll select that paragraph and Command C, Command V to create a duplicate. Then we can update that text. Then I'm gonna select the planet name and select bold from the styles. Next, I'll drag that stacked so it's vertically centered and then I'm gonna have 4% on the left side margin. We need two buttons for the navigation. So I'll go up to quick add and select an icon only button. We'll just drag and drop that into the top right of the navigation. And with that selected, I'm gonna to go to the background fill and just turn it down to 0% opacity. Since we can't see it, let's go to layers and then select the page itself. And on the color, I'm gonna swap it over to black so we have a dark theme. Then we'll select our logo first in that stack and update its color to white and then the following paragraphs as well. And now we have a dark theme. Now let's customize our button. So I'll hit change text and icon and then replace the icon. I went ahead and exported my SVG, so I'll just drag it here into the Media Manager, along with the only other asset we'll need, which is that ring around the planet. Once that's uploaded, I'll just select that icon. On the right side, let's go to Icon and set its sizing to 32 points. Next, we'll grab a full button and drag and drop that in. First, I'll update its background fill to white, and then the text will be updated to black for the theme. Then I'll update my text, close that window, with that selected, I'm gonna hold shift and then throw both of those in a stack and we'll set the item spacing to 32 pixels. Then on the docking, we'll set its margin on the right side to 4%. Then I'll hit add element and we'll go to text and I'll click on an H1. I'll start by pasting in our planet name. Next, we'll set it to center align and then for its responsive behavior, I'm gonna set it to hug so that the bounding box hugs it and we'll bump up the font size to 220 pixels. Let's bump up the size of our section. So with it selected, I'll go to its height value and set it to 1024, just so we have some room to work with. Then let's select the navigation, go to its position and set it to pin, which drops it down so it's part of this section so it looks more seamless. Then we can remove the section's white color and then update our text to white for our planet name. I'm gonna move the planet name up a little bit just to get it out of the way. And now it's time to add our 3D interaction. So I'll go to add element, then go to embed and then embed code. And this will give us an iframe where we can embed code. But currently we don't have any code. And that's where we need to hop back over to Spline. And this is where we're gonna set up our 3D animation. So I'm gonna select the sphere, which is the planet, and then we'll select to add a new state. So let's add a new event. On start, we're gonna have an action of transition. So now I'm gonna to toggle over to state, which is the new state we created. And on the Z rotation, the Z axis, I'm gonna set it to 359, which is one shy of 360, a full rotation. Then we'll start the transition on the base state. And I'm gonna set the time to something really slow, like 100. And then for the easing, we'll take that and set it to linear, so it doesn't speed up or slow down. And we want it to end at that newly created state. Then for loop, we'll set it to infinite. So it will now animate to 359 degrees, and then at 360 or zero, it will restart and infinitely loop over and over. So that's our 3D animation done. Now we'll select export. This time we don't want to 
embed just an image, we actually want the 3D interaction. So we'll go to viewer and we need to adjust the play settings first. For the default settings, I have background color off and page scroll set to no. Then for the default spline interactions, I have all of them set to no. These allow you to move the camera around, which I don't want you to do. And then I have all of the touch settings set to no and disabled as well. Then hit update viewer to save those and then back over to the overview tab. And then here we can hit copy embed and then we're done with spline. Then back over to Wix Studio, we'll hit enter code. We can get rid of that comment and just paste in that embed from spline and update. All you have to do is click this arrow in the top right to stretch it. And like magic, we have our planet rotating in our website. Next, I'm going to go to my layers panel, find the iframe and click the three dots. And then I'm going to hide it. This way, my computer doesn't explode while recording and rendering that. Then I'm going to bump up the heading to 8% margin from the top of the browser. Before we add more interactions in Wix Studio, let's add that ring around the planet. So I'm just adding that image real quick. Then we'll scale it up. Then I'm going to go to the image settings and I'll change it to fit bounding box. And then I'm going to drag up the height until I get the height I want and make sure it overlaps the planet nicely. Now I want to add some interactions for some quick facts about this planet. And to do so, I'm not going to create it from scratch. Instead, I'm going to go to sections and then I'm going to go to hover sections. And on this R product screen, they have the perfect interaction already built out for us in Wix Studio. I'm going to select this object here, this stack, and then I'm going to paste it up here in my section and just drag it into the position I need. And then we can delete that section that we just created because we no longer need anything from it. Then I'll make some adjustments like removing the price and adjusting the size of this element. And with that selected, I'm going to copy and paste until we have three of them and just align them on this ring. So I'll click the eyeball in the top right to preview this. And this element comes with a built-in hover interaction. So when you hover over the dot, it pops up that little bubble and we can see each one of the facts. But I'd also like to add a custom interaction to this. So I'm gonna select that dot. Then I'm gonna to go to the interactions tab. As you can see on hover, we already have that up here in container. So it's gonna showcase that. So we wanna add another one. So we're gonna to go to the animated element and this is what element it's going to adjust. And so I'm gonna select choose on canvas and we're gonna choose our section and we're gonna change the section color. So when we hover on that, it'll adjust that. And we also want to set the ease to just ease in. And that's all we need for this interaction. Pretty simple. I'll quickly repeat that for both of these other interactions, just changing them to a different color on the hover. Let's quickly unhide our plan interaction iframe and hit publish. So here is our interactive website built with Wix Studio. We have this nice 3D rotating planet with these dots that give us a little bit of info and also give us a splash of color on the hover interaction. And that's gonna do it for this video. Special thanks to Wix Studio for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out Wix Studio with the link at the top of the description. Here's some more videos I think you'll like. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.